Hey guys, quick weekday trip. I kind of played hooky from work. We saw the uh, the waves were looking really nice and we heard the Spanish Max were running. Alicia's always wanted to do uh, mackerel patties. Uh, and so I'm gonna see if we can catch up some fresh mackerel. If you don't see this video, then maybe we didn't catch anything. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, normally <laughs> I, uh, I'll grab mackerel uh, from like, you know, Walmart or whatever and I'll take it home and, and make it. But I'd love to do some, some fresh mackerel with some mashed potatoes and some black eyed peas, something like that, some of the country style. So yeah, we'll see what we can catch. Yep, hopefully uh, we, we catch some Spanish and uh, if, if that is the case, then this will be Alicia's first catch and cook in the kitchen and I'll film her. So <laughs> looking forward to looking it. Looking forward to it. We'll see you guys in a bit. There you go, there you go, there you go. I'm recording, let's go, go ahead. Alicia's got one. We're gonna flip him right on in. Yep, that's what we want. Flip them right on the back of the boat. Remember, they got teeth, so. Yep, that's a Mac. That's a good one. Here, bring them bring over here. That's flip them right in. I can't flip them right in, honey. I'm stuck right here. Whoa, that's a good one, honey. Look at that. Yes. Awesome. Here you go. Our first Mac in the boat, and uh, we're going to walk him back to the cooler. Come on back. Here, I'll take this. Yeah, the baby's not happy. Right baby's now. not happy, but Alicia's already catching fish just randomly while I'm still rigging. And that's a heck of a fish. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. That is a nice one. And they got teeth, so I am being careful. We got a bunch of ice in here, and we're going to ice him down real good. What is that? Probably, what, 20 inches, 22 inches? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Nice size. There we go. Not super fat, but that's okay. It's a good starter. That's a good start. And we haven't even put any fish out yet. Nope, we got to ice down the cooler. I'm like I said, I'm still rigging up and everything. So good job, honey. Yep. Good yeah. job. High five. We'll ice him down as soon as I'm done tying up my jig. I see another one just swimming. I see him swimming. We got a whole pot of them right here. Oh, do we? Well, no, let's... or some kind of bait fish. Look here, down, let's right start, here. Let's start chumming them up then. I see the bait fish. Throw a couple of bait fish. Good. Is that a good sign? Yeah, bait fish is a good sign. We'll throw some glass minnows out there. See him? See him surfacing? Yep. 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 Action breeds action. Those are little ones, but those yeah. Are ones, yep. But those are little what? ones behind the boat. We're gonna get big. That's right. So we want the bigger ones. Just keep throwing them back, kind of behind back there. Yep. Got one. Yep. Alicia's got one. Might oh, be a... he got off. I hope he didn't break my one of my hooks. We we're kind of yanking on him. No, not no, really. you're good. Not you're really. Good. No, you're good. It looked like it was, but they pull hard. Once you do those live bait in there. That's what it's all about. That's these, it. One of these glass minnows. And that's what the charter guys do. They throw a little bit of the glass minnows in and they immediately throw right, see, right there. They yeah. hooked up, yeah. hooked up. But they're small. Yep. So there is a minimum size limit, but that's all right. Bring What's them on the in. Ten? Just go ahead and walk them to the front. Kind of walk them to the front over there. Yeah, we don't want to conjure up a bunch of babies. Throw them right on the deck here, honey. Careful of those teeth. That's a good, that's still a keeper. Uh, their minimum size is 12 inches yeah, nose to fork. Yeah, definitely 12. So 12 inches nose to, to fork. Seven. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. To fork. We're gonna try to smoke some of these guys. Uh, take them home and, and, and can them and, and try to smoke some, so. Oh, he's way over. Oh yeah, he's like 16. That's 16, yep, 16. Uh. We're gonna ice these down real good. We want these nice and firm. So I'm gonna put a whole bunch of salt water in here and get these iced down real well. I got two more ice blocks in the uh, Yeti cooler here too. I'm actually gonna bleed these guys too. So the cooler is probably not going to look too great in the future, but just know that that is because I'm gonna go ahead and bleed these while they are on ice. Just makes for a better, better uh, filet. Look at you, pro angler status. No, I have to get up here. I can't, I can't cast correctly if I'm stuck down there by the kid. I know, I like it. Oh. You got one. No. Oh. Oh, 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 I got him. I got him. I got you one. Got him. I got one. You stole my fish. Ooh, good one. You stole my fish. 
I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. Yep. Good one. Nice Mac. Yeah. 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 Good one. I want to wait till you cast. Go ahead. Cast right into that. Yeah, there you go. That's how to do it. That's how to do it. That's a Mac. That's a Mac. Yep. That's how to do it, babe. Go that side. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. Good one. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't force them. Don't force them. Don't force them. Flip them on into the front. Right on the there you go. Perfect. Five fishies now. Yeah, doing good. Doing real good. That's a nice one. Yeah. Go, good go. Job. Another nice one. They've got teethies. Nice. Bring them on back. You gotta do it. I, I like, I think it's, you gotta do it fast. Do, but, I mean, oh, 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 I missed him. Oh, there's one. Good one. Nice. There's a good one. Nice. Look at daddy. Yep, there's a good one. Look at daddy. I think he's foul hooked. Oh, you just had a blow up while you weren't looking, too. <laughs> daddy got a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice a good one. one daddy. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice fish. Yeah. Spanish. Nice Spanish. Got a bite? Nice. Nice. Alicia's on again. Girls are chilling and Alicia's fighting a fish. Yeah, keep walking them, walk them right up. Oh, that's a good one. Hang on, hang on. Let's cap it. Let's cap it. No, you don't need a gap. No? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, flip them in. That's a, that was a pretty good one though. That's a nice one. That's, That's a real a nice, nice one. Man. That's why I said I gotta practice my gaffing. Got one. Got one on the jig. Got a fish on. I'm right Get under you. Yeah, there you go. Nice one. Oh, got one. There you go. Uh this one's kinda small. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, you got you got a good one. Is it a double? Might be a double. You got a double? I think I That's awesome. Hang on, let me get this one off. I can't play only hang on. They don't let you. No, it's just a big one. Okay, hang on. Just it's play him. Just play him. Monster. Okay, wait a second. Monster to me, bro. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, don't worry about this. Okay, that is a that is a stud. Huh? That is definitely a stud. That is a stud. That's a stud. Oh, he's got some teeth. Hey, buddy. He's got some tooth. Be delicious. Go. Yep. There you go. Good put one. them right there. Yep. Perfect. Nice boy. Oh my goodness. That's probably my biggest one. That's a good one. Yeah. Probably my biggest one. Woo. Big boy. Big boy. Ow. Ow. Big boy. All right. Hang on a second. They like that red. Put him, just put him down. Want to make a mess of your boat? Just go out Spanish macro fishing. <sighs> oh, that's a good one. No, that's a good one. Bring them on back. No, but a good one. Fling them in. That's still a good one. I almost threw the fish back in the water and not the bait. That would have been funny. Wrong one. You got the. Oh, I got him. Oh, never mind. I got your fish. I got your fish. No, I. I got a double kicker, buddy. 
got a double, double kicker, babe. You got a double? Double kicker. Oh, that's awesome. There's one small. Yep. Can you flip them or you want Yeah, to I can got them. But that one on the bottom's big. Uh-huh, that's a nice one. Yeah. The other one let him go. Okay. Double kicker. We're gonna let this guy go, lift him up. Gotcha. Don't cut that off. There you go. Okay, you can go. Nice you one. cannot go. You are a nice one. There we go. You're good. Whoa, there's dolphins. Dolphins. Yeah. Oh, look, little pot of them. They're so cute, Riley, look. Whoa, the baby jumped. That was so cute. The baby, I think so, the baby jumped. Freaking adorable. No idea. I think that's a dolphin back there, yeah. What? There's some dolphin right back oh, there. Yeah. I, that guy's got some issues. I don't know what they think they're doing. They're catching tiny little fish with that guy's chum slick. Our chum slick too. Oh yeah, they don't give a shit. You know, it costs a lot of money to fucking fish. Oh, oh, I had one. Oh, he's on. No, he's not on. I think he's small because he keeps coming back. Ooh, my line's all frayed up. Oh, I another one on. Alright. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Alright. Where's that? Oh, the bait guy. He backed off the bait guy. Yeah, but now he's on top of us. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Wow, you're good. You're good. Dollars, you're good. You're good. That one. <laughs> I was just about to throw. I lost okay. I was gonna say, I was just about to throw chummies in. Go ahead. Oh, I got, did I get bit off? No. Yep, I will. He ate it. Oh, that was a good one. A good, one? good bite, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wakakuna! Sit back. You're in my. Here you go, baby. Just watch out because I've got that bait well open, so don't step in it. Now. 
I'll wait for you to get one on. It's too small. Yeah. Small, huh? Yeah, we'll let him go. Get a car. Uh, I don't, but I can get him. All right, no more ass bombs. Wakakuna. Freaking is going to be the word, I guess. Where's Good. the big guy at? He's he's not he's back there. He does he's not upset with us. Trust me. I didn't think he was. I was asking about because I died. Yeah. We've been here the whole time and he didn't say anything. And he knows that we're chumming too. So you know, it's okay. Is that old man not chumming? No, they're not chumming. They're not doing shit. No, they've been riding around for the past hour. Yeah, they are. Doing nothing. Yeah, I saw. See, I can't keep my mouth Blow up. Oh, that's all right. We'll just bleep some out. It's you know, people like that. They like animation. Technically, we're sailors because we're sailing, so. We're sailing. Yeah, double. Double. Oh, got a, lot, got a bunch of them. No, you do. <laughs> oh, okay. Mine's good. Mine's not good. It's kind of a bait. What do you think? No, no, that's fine. Here, we'll take yours. One, two, three, four, five. Here, get it back out there. I think they're still there. I hope you got it on film. How many you think we got? Our limit's 30. Yeah, because he's not 30. He's probably got 15. Alright. I, I still want to go over. <laughs> Alright. Big old bite? Bite, I wasn't ready. Yeah, that's happening to me a lot. But I also don't have. Oh, sh. <laughs> you were ready at least. I was not! <clears throat> it's a foul hook, I think. It? Yeah, but good it's a good one, yeah. Ready? I'm just gonna bring him right here. That's a nice one. Whoa, whoa watch my feet. Oh, yeah. I thought I foul hooked it, but I didn't. He ate it. Yeah, he ate it good. Yeehaw! Yee -hee. Oh, there's one on the jig. Nice. Good one, too. Sh going that way. I don't know why. Right underneath you. Perfect. Thank you. Good coordination. I like it. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll take it. Almost. You got to be quicker than that. Fish on. Fish on. I'm good with that being the last one. 
I'm good with that being the last one. Yeah. Give me a minute on him. I know. Perfect. Okay, I got him. Yep, not a problem. I got it. I'm very happy. Hey guys, it's my turn in the kitchen. Uh, we're going to do some Spanish mackerel patties, uh, fresh, obviously. Uh, as you see in the video, we caught 29 uh, mackerel. Honey, if you want to come do a little close yep. up here. Um, we we uh, used the uh, pressure canner. Is it a pressure canner? Yeah, pressure canner. Um, yep. We use a pressure canner on these bad boys. We actually had to buy one. We've never done this yeah. before and we caught so many Spanish Macs we wanted to can them all up. Uh, so we've got uh, enough to make Spanish macro patties for probably the next year. <laughs> yeah. So I have already um, gotten some black eyed peas going and I'm um, going to go ahead and start um, boiling some potatoes here. So I peeled in, I peeled my potatoes and got them in the water already for you so you don't have to watch all that boring stuff. And um, as soon as the potatoes are ready to go, I'm going to blend them up and uh, show you how I make them. I just add a little bit of milk and some salt and pepper and um, let's go ahead and get the mackerel patty started. Okay, so those cans were on super, super airtight, which is exactly what we want. Um, the, mackerel pat the mackerel is actually supposed to be good for, what, two years? Yeah, two years. So, I mean, She it's... needed some assistance with getting those guys <laughs> I, up. And I... we've never opened these before, so this is our um, first time pressure canning, like yeah, I said, and yeah. we had no idea. So, yeah, we basically took, like, a butter knife and just kind of pried them up. But, yeah, hey, that so... meant that they were sealed really well. Yeah, so, so just um, be prepared. Just be prepared for, um, you know, opening cans <laughs> you know if, if you guys are going to be doing this yourselves mm -hmm. so um i've always bought canned mackerel at the stores should i um empty out that liquid honey? uh it's it's up to you is there okay. usually that much liquid in the stuff? uh no not normally so yeah enough. i would just kind of dump out a little bit of liquid then okay that's not a lot so, so i think we should make one more sure absolutely okay. go for it okay. So this with these mackerel, we actually uh, these uh, I took the skin off and um, obviously filleted them and then took the skin off. Uh, it said you didn't have to take the skin off. Oh, Alicia's gonna attempt it on, I, on I the camera here. I can't. I can't. It's we'll it's see. awful. <laughs> uh, I'm just, not strong enough. You just gotta pry it up, honey. Pry it up. I tried. But yeah, basically, uh, you don't add anything in here other than like a half teaspoon of pickling salt. So here, you take the camera yeah. and I will pry that thing up. There you go. Yeah, it's crazy. I it's crazy tied on there. Kind of pry it up that way. Without. There you go. Okay. All right. Without making a huge mess, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to empty out a little bit of this juice here, and then we'll get right back to you guys on yep. that. Smells actually super good compared to uh, the stuff that I buy in the store. So um, we're going to go ahead and fill these up with water and probably bleach these out and reuse them again. I don't know. Oh, you don't have to bleach them or anything. It's just, yeah. The nice thing about uh, pressure canning is, um, you know, you're basically doing it under pressure and steam. And so it, it, it sanitizes the jar at the same time. So you really don't even have to like super clean them out or anything like that. But I think you do have to buy new uh, rings and uh, lids each time. So that's the deal. So new but the rings and lids are really cheap. So you just you keep the jars and hopefully we can be able to go out and get some more Spanish Max uh, later on. We're hoping so. so, but if not, I mean, that's still plenty. Um, I don't make, I don't make mackerel patties um, on the regular. You know, it's probably once every six months still. So don't mind Luke in the background. He's yep. back there playing. So. He's, in his, he's in his eye chair eating a waffle. Yeah, he's being sassy. Okay, all right guys, so um, I'm turning this down a little bit. Uh, we're gonna get these potatoes boiling. They're at least starting to boil. So, so far I'm throwing in um, a whole pack of saltine crackers. Um, and I've never, uh, usually, um, when my mom makes them, and she's the one that showed me how to make them over the years, she just puts in the saltine crackers and um, just puts the mackerel in there and doesn't add any seasonings. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon pepper to mine and um, obviously the eggs here in just a minute, but um, I'm gonna add a few more crackers and then we're gonna go from there. All right, so I'm probably gonna do another, probably half half of a pack of crackers and um, 
our 16 year old got into the box and I was worried that we might not even have enough. So I'm just thankful that we have any crackers left over. <laughs> so to even be able to make these guys for yeah, you. Yeah, so, you know, teenagers and gaming and, and uh, they just grab anything that exactly. they can grab. And then off to their room they go. Exactly. So we're going to put in a couple, just a couple of our farm, fre uh, farm fresh eggs. Yep, those so, are eggs from our chickens. Yep, and I'll have Chris put in a little picture of, uh, of our uh, girls. They've been laying like crazy, so that's wonderful. All right, so we're just going to put in a little bit of this, and then I have the lemon pepper, I think, right here. So I got it out for you, yes. Sir. Yep. just want to make sure. I still don't feel like I have enough cracker, and it's you got to make sure that you've got the right amount for it to stick together when you actually put it into the pan because you don't want the actual patty to fall apart. So you want it to be able to stick together. So I may add the rest of the crackers and add some lemon pepper and one more egg. And then I think we'll be ready to put those guys on the, um, the pan. Okay, so now um, I added the rest of the crackers and I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon pepper since we are putting lemon juice over the top of these guys. So are you getting nice and close in there, mm -hmm. honey? All right, so um, right now I've only added two eggs. I don't know. Let's see how it feels here in a minute. I'm really particular about how I how I like my uh, macro patties to be as far as like them being able to stick together when we put these suckers on the in the oil on the pan here in a minute. We're gonna add one more egg, and I think we'll uh, we'll be ready to go. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to show you really quick what I normally would use like over the years. This is the crap that I would buy at Walmart. Did you say crap? <laughs> I did say crap. That's awesome. Well, because we're we're doing yeah, it. Now we're, we got Spanish. We're doing it. Though. We're doing mm. it fresh now. We're actually trying to do a lot of more organic things. We have a garden. We have chickens. Just trying to eat a little bit better and be a little bit more healthy. But, this is still healthy. Yes. This is still okay. It still tastes good. My kids still eat the whole entire thing and they never complain and you can't go wrong with mashed potatoes mackerel and you know a yummy healthy side so uh, yeah. you know a beans or whatever so you know technically we don't even know if this is going to be as good I, right now i, I hope can, so i can smell it and tell you right now it's going to be <laughs> yeah but, but uh, if you guys don't have obviously your own can or mackerel to can uh then you know you can absolutely do this yes. recipe by just going to walmart grabbing a, a couple of cans of mackerel normally she uses two of those um, two to three, two it to depends. Three, we have a big how many family. You have. Yep. We have a big family. And then so. a couple of eggs and like two packages of saltine crackers. And basically, you're making a binder. So you wanted to get a nice consistency. Ooh, there's your mackerel. Oh. And then I was going to kind of show this. So so basically, you want it to make it to where you can get it nice and, and pattied up. Yep, just so, like that. Just like so that. Um, I'm going to add a little, um, is it parsley here? Yep, parsley's cut up for you. And then, uh, and then we've got a bunch of lemon that I squeezed for you over in the cup over there. So too. the lemon's not gonna go into here. Um, so far, all I have in here are the saltine crackers, the mackerel, the eggs, the lemon pepper, and the parsley, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and get ready to patty them up and put them into the pan. Okay, guys, so normally I check my potatoes with just the fork. Um, if you could just push the fork through them. Um, these, are, these guys are definitely done, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn this off and come over here and put them into a strainer Ooh, that's hot <laughs> and where is our hot pan thing honey oh uh, just put it in the sink oh okay just put it in the sink just throw it over there just throw it over there throw it over there and uh, I, I cleaned the kitchen already for you i give the taters a little shake <laughs> And then we're gonna right put them in here. Bowl. All right. Okay, guys, um, I just got the potatoes out of the strainer and um, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt. And um, I always add milk and a little bit of butter, which I forgot to cut out of the stick. We'll go ahead and just stick it over here. And we're just going to probably do a half a stick of butter. That's a lot of potatoes. And we're going to go ahead and blend. So this is a trick that, uh, that I actually saw Alicia and Alicia's mom use. Uh, instead of mashing potatoes, they use the blender. This is ingenious. I love it. If you guys don't and, use a blender for potatoes, try it. It's awesome. And, and you know what? Isn't he weird? Because no my, lumps. my entire life, I've always used a blender. And, and, I my, don't, and my grandma always used a masher. But this is a southern thing, I think. I guess so. I grew up in Tennessee, so <laughs> I don't know. 
Anyway, we're going to Work go smarter, ahead. not harder, right, guys? I mean, I love it. Um, the trick with the potatoes is um, for me to make them nice and creamy, um, just to add a little bit of milk at first, and then you can add a little bit more as you go, but you don't want to add too much at first because then you can't go back. So we're going to go ahead and start with just a little bit and see how they taste. All right, guys, um, I can already tell right now the potatoes are still too dry, so I am going to add some more milk. Probably the rest of this butter here. So I'm playing some, uh, what is that? Uh, not Martha Stewart. What's the other one that you grew up on watching? I don't know. I'm the lady that adds all that extra oh, yeah. butter. I'm French. It's all about the country. The, the country bumpkin. All right, we're going to do a little bit more milk and then we're going to add some pepper. All right, so I'm going to add. go ahead and add some pepper now. We were out of pepper with the other one, so not too, too much because the kids will freak out. And uh, a little bit more milk. Um, I can add some more butter at the end, so that's not a problem. I like my potatoes nice and creamy. Um, everybody has their own. Paula Stewart, I think, is the lady's name that adds butter. Yes. Uh, she puts that S on everything. <laughs> no, Paula Dean. Paula Dean? What did I say? Paula Stewart? <laughs> Paula Dean. All right, so how are those potatoes looking, honey? Oh, my gosh, they look amazing. Look okay. Like I said, work smarter, not harder. That would have taken my grandma 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like they might need a little bit more butter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add some of that for you guys, and we're going to go ahead and get started on these patties. What are you doing? Get back on camera. <laughs> she's she's over here adding more butter. She doesn't want you guys to know how much butter she's adding, and it's like I don't know. care. And then she took a bite, and I'm like, you know, I what? don't care. Okay, I ha I'm very particular I about my bite. potatoes if they're homemade. Okay, so we like a lot of salt in our house. Okay, yeah, I don't have sodium problems. Everything yes. is to taste, so yes. you guys taste it up. Now I'm going to let you taste them. You tell me how they taste because I already took a little bite mm -hmm, and cheated. cheated. <laughs> Some more salt. Oh, those are fantastic. Good. Okay. You eat them all yep. the time. So, all right. The potatoes are done. We're going to, we're going to put them over here in a nice little bowl. Okay, guys. So I'm going to, I got this fancy little Christmas pot, which he tried to make me get rid of like half of my Tupperware and I refused. He pulled them all out of the out of the drawers about down uh, down below a couple weeks ago and tried to get me to get rid of my Tupperware. Guess how many left the house? I was, zero. I was spring cleaning and it zero didn't zero left the house because I use them for every there's there's always something cookies something you know what I mean that you can use it for. So all right, we are gonna add just a little tad bit more uh, butter. You don't say. We're gonna add a tad bit more butter. <laughs> All right, Paula Dean, get it in there. <laughs> and uh, the rest will keep out just in case the kids might want some. And uh, we're going to get the lid on this guy to keep these potatoes warm while we go ahead and uh, put our patties over here on this pan and get them all ready and get ready to eat dinner. It's time to make these macro patties. I'm excited. That's right. Let's get going. All right. All right, so. She's got a couple pattied up already. I got a couple so pattied up there good. We, go. we got, mm -hmm. you see the cilantro in them? Mm -hmm. And um, like parsley. I said, parsley. oh, parsley, yep. sorry. We got um, a nice we, hot pan we were, with olive oil. We were actually debating on um, between cilantro and parsley. Oh, I love so. cilantro. Some people don't like cilantro. It's a weird thing. It's a love-hate exactly. relationship. And I think, I think um, cilantro would still be good, though. Oh, yeah, cilantro would be tasty. It'd so. add a little spice to it. These are patting up, patting up really nice so far. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. I'm not a big, I'm not a very good hamburger pattier. Um, you know, the whole stick to thumb in the patty and all that stuff like you try to show me. So yeah. um, I'm, hoping they, I'm hoping these don't fall apart. <laughs> that's only for the barbecue though. I mean, that's basically because when the juices run out of the hamburger, the, the hole in the middle seals up. So yeah. that's a little trick. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and stir the black eyed peas. You don't have to do nothing with the black eyed peas. These are just canned black eyed peas, organic from Walmart. Nothing special. They're still super delicious. You don't have to even add salt and pepper to them. So um, let's we like our give these a couple of minutes um, to get a little bit brown on that side, and mm -hmm. then we'll flip them. Here, in just a second. Now we're done. Okay, you got that spatula ready for me. So our oldest son is in the living room with the babies, keeping them entertained while we're in here cooking. 
because it is like a circus. <laughs> it's a juggling act. It's guys. a circus show. I hope you appreciate these. So yeah, uh, we work really. We're work, working really hard to uh, make sure we're getting these videos out to you guys. And um, th this is delicious anyway. And and we were already going to make it, so there's no reason not to um, go ahead and film it because it's just going to be such a delicious meal. So yeah, I was really looking forward to uh, to having Alicia do her her thing in the kitchen. And I'm she's super, just as good as me. And I'm show. super happy that he's going to try macro patties because he yep. doesn't normally eat my macro patties when I make them. So not from a can. <laughs> Hey, I said they were crap. He gave me crap about it, you know, the canned ones. But I, I like canned hey, tuna. You know she what? eats canned sardines. I won't. I, I'm I, a fish girl. Yeah, I, anything that I consider bait, I won't eat. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's always said. This is bait, though. Oh my god, you're eating Those it. Look perfect. You're eating bait tonight. No, see, Spanish mackerels are not bait. It's still bait to me. There's, I mean, some of them were a little on the small side. I'm always out there trying to catch the big fish. But th these were, these guys were really fun, and they fight like they fight like really, really, really hard. So, yeah, these are turning out good. They look delicious. And the beautiful thing about it is, with the canner, uh, the pressure canner, this mackerel is already cooked, so you're not gonna get sick from it. You can't undercook it. You can't overcook it. It's already ready to go. So it's just like opening up a can of tuna. Mm -hmm. So maybe we just need a little bit more oil. I think on over here because you see how. I think our stove is like crooked, I swear to God, because all the oil is going to one side. No, it's Do you guys pan. have a crooked stove at we home? We need a new pan. It's that <laughs> pan is warped. We have we have teenagers and they've learned how to cook, but the problem is uh, they yeah, they, they put the pans in the sink and put water in them like as they're still hot and that is the death of a good pan. And uh, Chris and I are both really big fans of like like crispy, well cooked you know, fish and, and pretty much anything really. Mm. So, um, the more brown for us, the better. So it just depends on what you like. So, um, if I have like, um, crab patties, what is it? Crab patties or yeah, crab cakes, crab cakes That's things Alicia's, like that. Alicia's favorite crab oh cakes. yeah. Uh, he made homemade, um, crab cakes for me. What, what was it? Blue crab? Yeah. We'll have to do some that blue crab. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they were super good and I am a sucker for freaking crab <laughs> cakes. So we did some blue crabbing right here in the, in the Loxahatchee river here in Jupiter a couple of years ago. And I have not put out the traps again in a couple of years. I don't know why it's, it was definitely a, a lot of work. Um, and if you don't get a lot of crabs in the traps, then, you know, it can be a little bit, uh, you know, disheartening, but, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do some stone crabbing and, and blue crabbing again. That was actually really fun. Yeah. The only thing is people mess with your traps and a lot of times yep. when you pull them up, you think you, you don't have crab, but you probably did have crab and somebody took them. <laughs> yeah. We have ran into that. We had crab, we had traps so, that disappeared. And it that's was the whole not thing. fun, yeah. you know, so that's kind of a bummer. But um, the one that he, he did get, and he made that um, one single crab. Oh, that was a stone crab. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was a stone crab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make Chris a plate here. Um, we got the black eyed peas. And these are so, so good. I've got him addicted to these. Yep. So we made plenty. So got some black eyed peas there. And we're going to add a little parsley on top of our potatoes. Parsley, right? Mm hmm. All right, and a nice big scoop of homemade mashed potatoes. Yum. Yep, can't go wrong with that. And we'll take a delicious mackerel patty. And then we've got the mackerel patty there. Oh, yum. We're just going to put a little bit, of, little bit of lemon on there. And let me grab your fork, honey. A little bit of lemon juice, and you put a little juice. tiny little bit of parsley on there too. A little bit oh of parsley gosh, on the that top. That's fantastic, honey. And let me get you a fork. And all right, guys, this is our finished product here. There you so go. we have um, homemade uh, Spanish mackerel patties, black eyed peas. I was gonna make cornbread. I'll make it in the next video that I do. So enjoy.